Oh my goodness. Thank goodness for Georgina. Holy cow. Uh, hi, I'm trying, I'm trying to wrestle the blanket with the cat. Um, and I also realized I didn't post that I'm going live. So I'm doing that real quick because of course I didn't. <laughs> so welcome, welcome into the behind the scenes chaos. Gonna put that back there for a minute. It's time for F off Friday. I have wrestled the temperature blanket into the office, and we are going to see how much. Did you all see her trying to climb the blanket? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the website will be updated at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the first spoopy sale of the season. There are 12 friends you don't want to miss them. Okay. Look at me not typing my I'm live message now. It's fine. Anyway, hi. I missed you all yesterday. I, uh, basically spent all day, like all day, prepping all of the sale stuff. So all of the, the adoption cards, all of the website stuff. Um, yeah. It's a process. All right. Speaking of process. <clears throat> Hi, Dark Goose. Welcome. We are just getting started. How are you doing today? How was your stream? I also need to open up my website so I can, I can actually like push the sale to go live at five, you know, you know, just You watched Rings of Power? Oh, the new Lord of the Rings? Alright. Twelve things are ready. Rack! Hello, friend. How was your, uh, your test the other day? You have mixed feelings on it? I didn't realize that that was something that you could stream. Because, like, Lord of the Rings, you know? But welcome in, everyone! Um, it is... It's time... It's time for another F off Friday. <laughs> um, I'm going to be weaving in ends on this temperature blanket again. I know, I know. So shocking. I'm honestly struggling to figure out how to get everything set up. I'm also in pajamas because comfy clothes for F off Friday are, are a must. So, but here, look, this is actually, let me see if I can find, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, don't worry about it. This side. There we go. Look it. Oh God, this is heavy. Okay, we're all right here. Look at all the rows I've gotten done. Look at them all. And that goes all the way across, so. It doesn't matter how many more I have. Look at all the ones I've done. <laughs> 
Oh god. Alright, let me give Artemis her lunch. She's reminding me of that. There you go, babes. Okay. Okay. For the Amazon watch party? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know. I have not started watching that Lord of the Rings show yet. We've been watching um, the new Star Wars, the Andor. Um, auto graded when they're multiple. Oh, I forgot they didn't have it set up that way. Oh no! Oh no, I hate that. No, no, the sweater, the sweater doesn't need my attention. I love this blanket so much. Thank you. Uh, who's playing, Connie? I don't know who's playing right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nailed it. First try. Okay. mind the slowly growing larger camera. Do you not want this on our bed? Kind of rude, honestly. I thought you loved this blanket. Okay, scissors at the ready. What can I say, I'm needy. Ain't that the truth? Oh no, where's the needle I was using for this? I'm supposed to get some warm weather due to the tropical storm. Mm, we're getting some cold weather because of it. Aha, I found it. Where it belongs on my magnet. Need a brownie? That sounds like a good idea. All right. Well. Here goes nothing. Hey James, do you remember what this green is for? Around those ones? Cat fuzz. <clears throat> oh, look at him. He knows things. That was the last time we were up in Vermont. It was fun. Um, we went and found like a local um, yarn store up there and purchased like, you know, special yarn. And we did the same thing. That was the last year that we went on vacations. <laughs> um, we also went and visited James's family in Michigan. Um, <laughs> Georgina, I just saw your text. Um, so for the Michigan one, we got some nice blue yarn from a local yarn store to outline, um, the days because honestly, like when we went from like where we were like living all the way up to Vermont, up to Michigan, like those are much colder time zones or time zones, <laughs> weather zones. I don't know. Um, and I wanted to you know, do the, the temperatures that were in the places that we were visiting. But I also wanted a way to be like, wow, why is there this weird 
cold, you know, bunch of things, um, like cold days out of like, you know, some normal, like some warmer ones, so. Was so out of shape. You just put. Oh, did you get the one that I had? I had uh, shared. Lots of solutions. Nice. That's always great when like those sorts of appointments go well. I'm happy for you. Hope that some of those solutions will help as well. You don't think it's the exact one, but it's very similar. I hope that it helps. Even like when you mentioned it, I instantly was like, okay, let, let's fix my back a little bit. No, I have not really been live for 17 minutes and I'm just weaving in my first end. That's, that's a lie. Mm -mm. No. Surely it's only been like five minutes, right? Where did my... Oh no. I don't know where... Where my container went for my ends. It's fine. I'll just put them up there. Oh, well, I hope that you enjoy the game. We, uh... We're watching a lot of baseball right now because that's getting, our teams are, you know, vying for positions. So, I'm looking forward to watching baseball tonight. There's two stabilizer options, a metal and a plastic. Oh, that's pretty cool. Procrastinating, doing homework. That you have no time to do this week and it's totally fine yeah it's fine honestly you need a break yes i love baseball heck yes who's your team i need i need a i need a place for my yard <laughs> it's gonna become a mess watch the yankees and the blue jays <laughs> I'm a Mets fan and James is a Yankees fan, so it's interesting. Oh, James, I have to order my shirt. Heck. Hi, Elf. Um, I got, thank you. I'm like, I, can't, I gotta get to my mouse to sit. I hate that. F off is fine. It it's what we're doing today. Um I am making good progress. I actually showed at the beginning of stream what it was looking like. Um it took me a while to get the blanket to actually be in a position like to be viewed and so I've only done 3 ends so far. It's fine. Um I will catch up. It's not a problem. I'm not worried about it at all. You've been to see them? Very cool. You're going to loosely lurk. That might be my favorite thing I've ever read. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your loose lurk. <laughs> my brain needs glasses. I love that, Belzy. I'm a Rangers fan for hockey. 
it's just a lot of work. This is a king size blanket and it's a lot of effort just to wrestle it on to stream in a way that people can see it and I can hold it and it's not like stressing anything. <laughs> I'm always loose lurking. I love that. Thank you so much. I love this blanket. It has been an absolute labor of love though. Let me tell you. They haven't been good in a long time. Father-in-law loves the Braves. Oh, whatever game is on. Enjoying lots of teams playing well. It has been a good season. I've always been a Met fan. And it's been, it's been really exciting to see them doing well for like, it, you know what it is? It's the fact that like, they're playing as a team again. For a while, it, there just wasn't like, I don't know, it didn't feel like a team. It just felt like people playing ball. And it, it feels like everyone is like rooting for everyone. And it's just, it's been nice. Loosely lurking is my jam too. I've just never heard it termed that way and I love it. <laughs> Team finally vibes together. Oh yeah. big difference. It makes it more enjoyable like as a viewer to watch too. Like you, everyone gets like excited when like a certain player comes up or like, you know. I don't know. <laughs> Neither, but I love it. I like it too. So who's excited for spooky sale today? <laughs> Rack says they're ready. Oh heck, you know what I did forget to do? You know what I did forget? I forgot to put the new raid video into OBS. So I have it. It's like ready. I just didn't plug it in. So I can try and get that on one of my breaks maybe. The zombie will go fast is your guess. I'm too excited for it. I love that. It was one of those things I didn't really realize how many like things I had made for this sale until like I was getting them all together and I was like, I have 12? <laughs> like that's crazy. And exciting. And that's not even including the mummy puppy who still isn't all done yet. But honestly, the mummy puppy might just stay here. <laughs> this mummy puppy has been a lot of work and I'm like, I'm going to, it, it might be like the first triple digit <laughs> friend. Like, it's taking forever. <laughs> I should have just like glued it down with like hot glue. Just been done with it. <laughs> when did this happen? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I did make three more this week. So remember how like last Friday was supposed to technically be the sale? I did make three more things this week. So it would have only been nine. Which I know isn't bad, but I feel like 12 is, is nicer. I don't know. Anyone else like worry when they do blankets and things like, or like wearables about ends coming undone? I'm sure it's not just me. Oh, 
I'm just over here like weaving all these ends in going, please don't come out. Not now that you made the top, oh? Why is that? What's the secret? Yeah, I guess it's just like washing that scares me. Not necessarily like using this on like a bed, but like, because it will have to get washed, you know? Hand wash for now, yeah. That's a problem though with a blanket of this size. You can't really hand wash it. Like a king size blanket is not easily hand washed. <laughs> like obviously there's like a gentle cycle and everything, but still <laughs> hang it over the line and beat it like the old days I mean valid hi cat I love you cat meow I very sincerely hope that she had um, closed captions on so she could see me say meow. Wash it in the bathtub. What do you hang it over to dry though? Like this isn't going to fit over like a clothing rack. It will pull the shower curtain off the wall. Like what, how do you, how do you dry it? <laughs> I do too, normally, Elf. Don't worry, you're not alone. I'll be like, hey! I don't have a balcony. We live in a ranch. The one floor. With a basement. I don't have a clothesline outside either, no. Clear my dining table. Oh. It'll stretch so much, agreed. Spin cycle of the washer and lay it on a clean floor. Wood clothes, yeah, this is a king's, like this is not going to fit on any kind of clothes rack. The, the dining room table might be, like, the, a good idea for, like, where to lay it out. I agree, like, the, the air cycle on the dryer kind of thing. Although, to be fair, to be fair, as a child, um, I did not really know all about, like, the, the necessary washings and dealings of yarn. And my aunt made me a blanket for my twin-size bed. And I use that blanket all the time. I still have that blanket. I love that blanket. <laughs> the colors are so obnoxious, but I picked them. It was the first project I picked yarn for all by myself. It is like pa pale yellow, blue, and pink. I don't like pink. I don't know why I chose it. It's like bubble. It's pink. It's all red heart yarn, though. 
And that blanket has held up to just normal washing. Like, I as, you know, when I started doing my own laundry and I would wash that blanket, it just went in. It went in with the other blankets, went into the dryer with the other blankets, like... It didn't get any kind of special treatment. And that thing has held up... It's all Red Heart yarn. It's all like, you know... And, you know, that's what most of this is, is like... It's not wool. Um, so it, it'll it wash well. Like, I don't have any wool on this anywhere. Mm-hmm. Acrylic yarn is very hardy. It's true. 1000% agreed. Especially one that is like meant to be like washed like Red Heart or ones that have like a similar um, like design. I am going to put this right here like this for a second and I'm going to just take my sweater off because as I predicted it is getting warm in here and again I'm not taking my sweater off on camera because there are weird people on the internet not well I mean aren't we all weird but you know you know what I mean Okay, people, you know what to do. What? James, you know... You know... <sighs> trying to cause chaos. I'm just trying to, like... I think it needs no, this does glitter. not need more glitter. Oh, that is the last thing that this needs. Mm -mm. No glitter. Absolutely not. <sighs> Thank you for the bits, Elf and James. Loads of gorgeous autumn colors that you just... Then just one bright, almost neon pink. Amazing. I woo. Y'all are chaotic. Oh my gosh, no, look at, look at this. You have made him so ridiculously happy. Oh my gosh. Belzy, thank you so much for the three gifted subs. I appreciate that so, so much. <sighs> I know, don't, don't encourage him. I'm surprised he hasn't burst through the, there's the laugh. So I'm surprised he hasn't burst through the door, like, and do some, like, stupid dance in here. I can feel his smirking grin from here. Same. Same. Susan, thank you for the 100 bits. We are on level two of this hype train. Thank you all. <laughs> the chaos I suppressed because James wasn't there two days ago. Oh. Well, he's here now. He's here now and ready for chaos. Oh, that's good, Elf. We're up to 19 ends. Heck yeah. Go, 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 go. I 
don't know what I think about that. Oh no, he is kind of melting, isn't he? Poor thing. I have to see if those are Britain mm. and wired. Yeah. Now we didn't have any, like the only overhead light that we had in our apartment, we had three. We had in our bathroom, in our dining room, and in our kitchen. Everything else we had to like bring lamps in, which also meant though that we didn't have like a fan, which sucked. Thank you for the bits, Susan. We have two minutes left on this, this train. All aboard, first train departing the moat. So what I think I'm going to do, because I have one, two, three, four more square or hexagons going in that direction, is I'll work like this section here, like these three, because they're on camera now, and then I'll move it over and do like those same three rows on like that side of the blanket. <laughs> just because trying to move this around to like do one row at a time is just not easy. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, Rack. Thank you for letting me know. Is it? Well, thank you. Yeah, there there is now a discount on gifted subs. You remember how we were talking about how September used to have gifted subs be... Oh, this is the last day of September, too, for me. Um, Where you used to, like, be able to gift subs at a discount and then they didn't do it this year well they changed their mind for like the last week so gift subs are on sale now which is so dumb less than a minute on this train Think he'll take the brace off then? That sounds like a good idea. That's what I do. I just wear it for a little while. Thank you all so much for that train. If you got a new emote, be sure to share it. I appreciate that. It can go higher than five now. It can. We have not seen a level five train in a while, which is okay. Twitch, Twitch numbers are are very strange they like that's been one thing i noticed like when editing the videos for the hype train it's like i've had the goals up there for a while but the numbers have changed a lot like up and down and like the number of times that goals were completed versus not it's just interesting now i will say right so twitch numbers have been down but sales have been up so it's like is that is that what's happening? Like, <laughs> are people buying more things? And like, I don't know. It's whatever. This is, you know, I guess it's my job, but it's also just a lot of fun. So. Beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. Hi, Nathan. Welcome. Sing it, Patch. Bit of marketing your product through the pro- mm. I guess, yeah. Oh, 
Hi, cat. It's definitely like one of those things that you really have to like unlearn. Um, when like, <laughs> hair, fuzz. Um, <laughs> when you've seen like Twitch just like shoving numbers like down your throat about like, that's how you know that you're successful. And so it's one of those things that like, I don't have my numbers on anymore, which helps, but it's still very much like, it became very ingrained after doing it for years and having numbers on. Like, it's a very, it's a very weird and very toxic mindset. And I'm so glad that they changed how their emails are now. Their emails are actually like, helpful instead of like, wow, you, you didn't, you had like five less viewers today than yesterday. You suck kind of thing. And you're like, damn. Like, it didn't say that, but that's sure how it felt. <laughs> I said, don't panic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that stuff. Me too. Which is why I stopped reading the emails. I stopped looking at numbers on Twitch. And then someone was, I remember hearing that someone saying that they changed how the emails were on like Twitch's end. And I was like, wait, now I have to like, I have to look at one. And they did change them and they're much less toxic now. Like, yeah, they still have your average number, but they no longer have it like shown against like your, what you need for partner. Like it used to be like, they would get, <laughs> basically the, the old Twitch emails were like, here are your four stats for pushing partner. And that's all the information they would give you. So like, I always had three of the four stats completed because like the other three are like stream, how long you stream, like how many days and how many hours you stream. And like, I forget what the other one was. Um, and then the last one was how many viewers. And I'm like, well, that's the only number that's ever really changing. And like, I don't need to look at that. And now, now, yeah, I'll show you how they look now, by the way, I cannot figure out for the life of me Instagram anymore, okay? I posted the other day, like, a, a you know, normal, um, when I did the last reel, couldn't think of the word, the last reel is, like, blowing up, doing really well, over, like, 100 and, like, I think we're almost at 200 likes on it, if not already there. I posted the reel with, like, all the spooky friends, and I have, like, 12 likes. I'm like, <laughs> I spend so much time working on that reel. Like, why? <sighs> it's so frustrating. Like, why on earth did they change it? Why is it now all of a sudden that, like, you can't freaking, like, oh, it makes me mad. It used to be pictures. Pictures were what were pop. And now it's like, no, just reels. Okay, here we go. So here, here was, here's what the old Twitch emails look like, right? This was from, this was from the, uh, April 19th. Okay. I must've had a big raid because my average number of viewers was almost 50. Look, you can see up 23.4 from last stream. I had 206 more unique viewers, 21 more, like, you see how it's, like, all a matter of, like, plussing or minusing? So then, then, naturally, the next day, I don't have this big raid, and guess what? All of those little green arrows are going to turn red, and they're going to be, like, you had 204 less unique viewers this stream. Wow. And, like, then you have, like, your partner thing down there, right? And, like, there's nothing helpful in that. There's no helpful anything in that, that, um, that email. Like, nothing. Now, this is the new one. It's super stressy. It's so bad. I hate it. Here's the new one. The new one tells me my unique viewers, my max viewers, my average number of viewers, and my unique chatters. 
but it also shows me this handy little graph that shows me when I have the most viewers. And I notice a very interesting like trend since these emails started coming out, which is that I start losing viewers near the end of my stream. Now, I don't know if that's because people don't like they're here for me and then they're like, well, I don't want to go on a raid. And so they start like tapering off. But you can see like the last like, you know, near that three hour mark, like people start to leave. And it's been like consistently like that. Like it, it takes a while to ramp up every time. Every time it takes me, it takes me at least half an hour to ramp up to like some kind of like normal-ish range. It'll take like half an hour to 45 minutes. And then near the end, it just plummets. And so, but like, this is an interesting, this is good. I can see this and I can say, okay, what can I do at the beginning of stream to maybe entice people to come early? What can I do at the end of stream maybe to have people want to stay until the end? Like it just, it, it's an interesting, like th that's information I can use. It shows me my, my clips. It shows me my, the emote that was used the most. Like this is helpful information and not just like numbers, 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 numbers. And you're like, oh God, okay, stretch. I'm also gonna hydrate. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. It's so little, but I love them. I love them too. So yeah, I just, I just used to like delete my, my emails from Twitch and now I can like look at them. Like even if I just look at the graph, like it's just helpful. It also shows that views stay consistent across the main chunk of stream. Oh, <laughs> evidently I'm pushing buttons on my stream deck. It's fine. We're not raiding. Please don't copy that. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Self-care can be crunchy. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Yeah, and like that's the other thing too is that like I don't necessarily want anyone to feel bad because like, oh yeah, I do leave at the end of stream or I do this at this, like, it's okay. It's okay. Like, I'm not, no one, I'm not, I don't know. No one is like, no one has to be here all stream or all day or all, or every, like, you don't have to be here at all. Like, I just appreciate it. So it's one of those, like. I don't want anyone to feel bad. I just was sharing because I think that it's interesting. Especially for people who might not stream and get those sorts of emails, you know? Hi, Bandit. I'm good. How are you? Clean the bed sheets. Heck yeah, Georgina. Go you. <laughs> I, we evidently just skipped that this past week. <laughs> it kept being like, oh yeah, we got to do that tomorrow. Yeah, we got to do that tomorrow. <laughs> It's night here. You've not seen the end of stream. Yeah, and see, I do know that too. Um, that like, I've got people all over in different like time zones. Some people might be falling asleep here. Some people might be waking up here and like getting about their day, you know? Good morning. And again, please, no one, no one, this is not to be like, oh, feel bad because everyone's leaving at the end and I'm all alone and sad. No, no, I just thought it was interesting because like, those are, that's like stuff that I've not ever seen from Twitch before. And so it's like, it's helpful for me to know. Um, because, you know, there are people like when we get raids and stuff who might be in a different time zone. So it's like, hmm, what can I do to maybe have people who are in this time zone, like want to stick around? It's just cool information. An hour until spoopy. Yep. The website is pulled up. I'm looking at all of them. I see all the pretty babies. Slept eight hours last night. Heck yeah. Good for you, Bandit. My win is that I didn't take an accidental nap today. It's a pretty big win. That's literally amazing to me. 
I felt myself start to get sleepy on the couch and I was like, no, 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 time to get up and do some stuff. And I did. And I was like, heck yeah. This is my effort to try and fix my sleep schedule, which for whatever reason has gotten all sorts of messed up. Congrats on the no napping. Thank you. I did accidentally sleep. It's okay. I've basically done it every day this week, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> but you did it, Kat. You've done the thing. Proud of you. Usually average about five. Wow. Do you feel like super rested or are you just like almost over rested where you're like, what am I doing? Why? Hello? Why is there... How? One of these, what? Somehow one thread, gee, one thread ended up wrapped around. How did you, what? Hello? Where did, where did you come from? <laughs> okay. Not feeling the need for a nap like you normally do. Nice. Oh, heck. Um, literally how? I don't know. Shoot, I can't see when the last ad or stretch break was. Because I'm not on that window. Let me pull that window up. Hang on, I gotta find my mouse. Mouse? Okay. There we go. Cool, we have about eight more minutes. Pull up the website over there again. I'll need that in an hour. Fabulous. Okay. Literally how? Mm. It has not. The sand, I'm surprised the sand castle and the blue crab are both still there. Um, and the pomegranate and this green gnome, this green gnome has been around for over a year. I don't know why all the other gnomes have sold. Is he like, is he cursed? Is he, is something wrong? Does he have, does he have some kind of. Oh, Rack, I just saw your message. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to play around with that. And are you on mobile or are you on PC? Thank you for letting me know. Sometimes I'm like, but I slept. Where's it? Yeah. <laughs> the magic time. Tra yeah. That's on your laptop. OK. I will definitely look at that after stream. Thank you for letting me know. Gotta love websites just doing random glitchy things. Technology! <laughs> Um, so we are coming up on our first stretch break. Basically, I take the ads that Twitch plays on my channel and I use those to stretch. I get up, I move around a little bit. It's always a little awkward with temperature blanket days, but that's okay. Uh, we go ahead and play some words on stream together. It's a great time for you to stretch, get a snack, get a drink, go to the bathroom. Um, all of that. So if you are not subscribed, you might see an ad or two, but guess what? If you watch an ad or two, you help steal some pennies from Jeff Bezos and put them in my pocket. So thank you for that. Um, and you won't miss out on any amazing end weaving here because I, I won't be here. <laughs> and boom, nine hours gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, the times where you're just like on the couch and you're like, I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm not gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna close them. That's a lie. Is a lie. Also today, um, with Nightbot there just reminding about the September. Today is the last day that I will be streaming during September. Um, it is a nice opportunity to get subs at a discounted price with out taking money from me. Twitch takes the pay cut. I get my normal cut of the, the subs. Um, so the longer that you subscribe, the more money you save. It's a nice little perk if you think you're going to be here for a while. I know I'll be here for a while. Um, so yeah, today will be my last day streaming during September. Is today the last day of September? I don't even freaking know. It is! Well, today is the last day of September. <laughs> Yeah, 30 days half September. That's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm good. And gift subs are discounted now because Twitch wasn't making an... I mean, Twitch changed their mind. Okay. Um, if anyone during this stretch break wants to go ahead and get on my website, um, the sale will be live in an hour. So it'll be in the ready to ship crochet friends section of the website. So feel free to just, you know, hang out there. All right, let us go. We're going to play some words. I shall be back very soon. Let's see if anyone can take Georgina number one spot there. Um, Cause she literally carried the entire first round. Go Georgina. All right, be right back.
Alrighty. Nicely done. Oh, goodness. I literally, when I work on this blanket, I do, I do my stretches at my desk, either holding the blanket with, like, my body, like, leaning against the table so the blanket doesn't move, or, like, holding it with, like, a hand while I stretch the other and, like, move around. I don't let it go. Like, normally I'll walk around a little bit, and I'm like, nope, it's in place. <laughs> it is in place, and I am not, I'm not letting this thing move around. <laughs> Gives me extra weight to stretch with, yeah. Exactly. We're doing good on words. Wait, what level are we? Up next level 11, nice. You have a blank keyboard? Well, that's interesting. How come? Oh, was that your ad? I really need to figure out, I say this every time that I work on this, I really need to figure out how I want to like, just like add some extra security to like my hexagons. Cause like they're all joined, but obviously you can see I can like stick my finger through it. So I do want to um, like close those up. And I don't know if I want to like do it crocheting or if I want to like just like whip stitch it which is why I'm leaving the long ends of like the main color because like I can use that to if I want to whip stitch it I can hi Minnie oh no worries that's totally fine I appreciate I know I have a lot of people here who are working and lurking um I definitely it's body doubling um and I definitely do that as well so um I'm glad that you enjoy being here during your work day. That's pretty spectacular. Body doubling, yes. Whip stitch. It's just a type of way of sewing, um, like two pieces together. So like you grab a stitch on each side and like pull like with a tapestry needle and then pull your yarn through both of the things and it, it pulls them together. Normal keycaps don't match your typing layout. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, by work and lurk too. I respond anyway, because that's how I work. I mean, I do that too. I work and lurk in streams a lot. And I still end up like, I end up talking a lot. <laughs> Sometimes there's just too much you have to say. Lurking and crocheting cr curly fries. <laughs> Love that. Nah, you're all right. No worries. I never mind answering questions. It helps you work too. Yeah, definitely. I think that's just a lot of us being neurodivergent and being like, hmm, having something to distract my brain while I use like the main part of it to, to work. Like... Here, so, someone entertain this little part of my brain that's, like, otherwise going to be noisy and bothersome. And then the other part can focus on work.
But when I'm at home, yeah. I get that too. That's how I describe it. It's... It is though, it's like... I, I normally have to have something on when I go to sleep, whether it's a show or it's like music or something, because otherwise that other part of my brain is just going to be like, it doesn't stop. It does not stop. Oh, you know. Okay, hold on. I, I will grab this link. I don't think I can play it because I don't, it's a Disney show and I don't, I don't want mickey to come and kick my ass um but this is like the perfect example of what my what my brain is doing um like in when if it's not entertained so um give me a second i'm going to have to mute youtube because i again i do not want disney big brother coming in Okay. Oh god. Not the mouse, yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. This is my brain. Oh god, why is it me though? <laughs> and the best part, right, the best part of that, that like clip, is how that, right, like that song is just like the perfect example of what's going on in the back of your brain. Because now, now I can guarantee you, you're going to be sitting there going, na 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 -na 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 -na. like it's just gonna be there it, it's just it's gonna keep that little part of your brain <sighs> I'm in that video and I don't like it <laughs> oh god that show is like Bob's Burgers but for kids that's like the best way I can describe it I was thinking about that the other day. Right, James? My kid loves that show. It's cute. It's one that's often on, like, during the day while I'm, like, doing other stuff. Yep! <laughs> I just shared that clip with everyone. It literally... Last night I was sitting with Patch, or no, was I sitting with the cats? I don't even know who I was sitting with. I was sitting with the cats and it came on, like that actual organically came on the TV. And I sent it to James because I know it'll get in his head too. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I love how other people also just have constant like music in their heads. Some kind of loop, like some kind of, of audio on loop. I, you know what I hate? I hate when your brain hears like music, but there's no words. Like oftentimes it's a commercial. Okay. And there's no words and your brain just starts making up words. And it's like, it's not even like the, it, or sounds like it doesn't make sense. And then all of a sudden you get this made up this made up nonsense in your head and you're like I don't even know what this is this isn't even a it's not even a real thing and that's what's on repeat in your head and you're like I I can't I don't see you later Mia have a good night 
Sometimes you have to sit a second to hear what song is playing in your head. Yes. You see, y'all are my people. Y'all understand. Yeah, evidently some people don't have constant noise in their head. Which is just wild to me. Because for me, it's like I have 15, like windows open and I don't know which one's playing the song and which one's playing an ad and which one has a twitch stream suddenly been picked to music by brain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes rack it's so stupid I hate it I hate it <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> So you don't hear words really? Oh. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> ah, uh, yes. I know that one too where... See, I hate the one where like you have just like a little like random anxious thought and your brain is like, I can work with that. I can make a whole scenario with just that little thought. Watch. And off it goes. And you're like, God damn it. No. Looped it to a rap beat. Mm-hmm. Oh, how so who here this this whole stream is brought to you by I feel seen. Um who else just also will have like entire random arguments with yourself? Anyone? That has nothing to do with me and you can't not think about it. I feel that too all. People don't, oh lord. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Who here ever catches themselves making facial expressions too? And you realize and you're like, ooh, gotta check that. Cause you start, you start being like, you realize that no one else hears what, what you're doing. Feels the need to narrate my life. Mm -hmm. The face cut it out. Yeah, stop giving away my inner monologue face. <laughs> All of the above. You're calling me out, ma'am. I'm calling myself out, okay? <laughs> Of what I wanted to do at all times. Mm -hmm. All the facial expressions. I'm glad that I'm not alone with the facial expressions. That was what, like, I, I figured that a lot of us argued with ourselves, but I wasn't sure if any of us ever, like, realized that we were, like, <laughs> emoting it, too. And you're like, oh. I love pottery. I wish that I could get a wheel. I need to like find a place that has just like open studio hours and then I need to like kick my anxieties ass so I can actually go and like, you know, spend a little time just playing with clay. Oh no, I've been caught. <laughs> I love that. Because you don't know you're doing it.
<laughs> related to your thoughts. Oh, no. Oh, uh, and then, of course, you start thinking about it, too. So then you start thinking about, like, oh, God, am I making a weird face? And then, like, you start to, like, look concerned or stressed, and you're like, oh, God, now I'm making a weird face. Well, things at the grocery store. I'm sure my face gets interesting, and then it feeds the anxiety. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I'll never forget someone one time on stream mentioned that they heard my stomach growl with like the microphone like I guess the mic picked it up and ever since and they like laughed about it and ever since then anytime that my stomach growls I like panic I'm like oh god did anyone hear that like it's so stupid like it's not something that matters guess what everyone's stomach growls guess what everyone like farts I mean I don't I haven't done that on stream but like everyone does it you know like it's just like one of those things like calm down about it it's not the end of the world but because it was brought up I was like like any time now where I start to get hungry I'm like oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god okay no we're right <laughs> I find them cute see the thing is I guess like for people with anxiety, like, I, at least for me, my stomach will end up, like, it gets, like, all sorts of, like, knotted and all kinds of, like, it's not necessarily, like, just hunger. Sometimes it's, like, hello, I am stressed. Yeah, I, I never was really comfortable eating on stream. Just, I don't know. Um, I've been in streams where people, like... Chew with your mouth closed is all I'm willing to say. You know, like, I get I get it. You gotta eat. Eat when you're hungry. You should. But also just be polite about it. No one wants to hear and or see you chew your food. <laughs> I get it. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Stomach thinks you look like dinner. That's amazing. My, a lot of my expressions are with my eyebrows, too. My eyebrows and, like, my eyes, especially I feel like after, like, I got bangs because, like, now my eyebrows are covered a lot. So I feel like my, like, I, I, like, do more with, like, my eyes because my eyebrows are covered. I don't know. My eyes are another story. You cannot control it. No, I get that. Mint tea helps your anxious belly feel... Ooh. I will have to try that. James, make a note of that. Oh, man. That's one thing I like about masks. Like, actual... Actual masks. Not, not the masks that we all wear. Oh, um... Evidently, mint tea. Mint tea helps a lot with anxious tummies. So make a note of that. I want to get some mint tea and try it. Exactly, Belzy. Like, I've been in a number of streams where I'm like, wow, this is really uncomfy to, like, while they're eating and I leave. And I don't want to ever be like that. So, like, if I need to... <laughs> I told him to make a note and so he, he texted it to me but it went like this are there yeah <laughs> just like that in all caps <laughs> oh god with the, uh, yeah, I know, I made sure that, I made sure, that's what I looked at. I wanted to make sure I got the number of exclamation points correct. I didn't remember if it was one or two, even though I just looked at it. So, I wanted to make sure. The day I actually went to the ER for, oh. 
wasn't hungry yet. Pigment, it was instant relief. Interesting, I will definitely try it. James Goofball, it's true. Part of what I love about him. Cat loaf. Cat loaf. Alone in the world is a little cat loaf. At the shop and I texted her, bread get empty. <laughs> Amazing. Don't try it. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Definitely good to know. <laughs> Mint heart bad. Mint belly good. <laughs> Did you all hear him laugh in the room next door? <laughs> Here's an ice cream for you and a burly man too. -da 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 -da. <clears throat> Do you all hear him laugh in the room next door? Ooh, have a nice weekend. Thanks for hanging. We are a half hour away, 30 minutes till sale time. You too, have a nice weekend. It is Friday. Thank goodness. Bye. I love how randomly I'll have like really, really, really long ends. Okay. And then I have these little tiny ones. Like, this is a very drastic difference. What was I thinking here? He's holding his peats very good. What, these ones? No. Definitely had a pair that used to like fold. Those were cool. Could, like fold them all up. <clears throat> mm hmm. I found them at a camp and I remember like turning them in and then being like, if no one claims it at the end of the day, you can take them home. And I was like, cool. And I totally went back and got, I was like, I would like to take those scissors home. <laughs> you have no clue where they disappeared to? Yeah, I don't know where mine disappeared to either. That is so many ends. Nathan, there were over 3000 when I started. Each one of these hexagons has eight ends to weave in. So many. 
Your folding scissors are in a wee kit. I love that. Wee. We're up to, this is number 52. It is, it is like more than one end. It's at least, at least one end. <clears throat> Maybe yeah, it's at also it's at least two. I would agree with that. Surely not three. Oh, at least three. At least that many, yeah. I stabbed my finger with... This is a sharp needle because I want it to like split threads so that it grabs them and holds them better when I weave in the ends. So most tapestry needles don't hurt if you accidentally like slip and stab yourself. This one, this one's a little pokey. I have not, Jackie. But I'm very curious now. I don't know if I have the spoons. It's gotten too long. That's a mood. I understand. Love those songs your kids had you watch. I haven't seen them yet now. As in, like, Mabel Pines? Oh my god, I'm excited to see this. <laughs> Ooh, fun, fun Gravity Falls fact. Did you know that uh, Dipper is not his actual name? That it's a nickname? They do talk about that in one of the episodes. But, do you know what his actual name is? I love that, and I'm excited to watch it now.
hydrate everyone. It is sale day. Morning. Well, yeah, so Dipper got his name because of the birthmark on his forehead, but do you know what his actual name is? Right? Like, everyone calls him Dipper. That's also how he introduces himself to people, but Alex Hirsch has, like, shared what his actual name is. It's never shared in the show. It's just like one of those little little random bits of information that I have. Mason. Yup. And I think it's fun because, again, another little random bit of Gravity Falls trivia. Um... Alex Hirsch, the creator of the show, uh, based it loosely off of him and his twin sister. Um, and they both have names that start with A. And so I think that it's cute that Maple, Maple, <laughs> Mabel and Mason, I think that's, that's kind of neat. Which is adorable. Agreed. It is cool. I agree. But what about Tyrone? That's the name he's always wanted. <laughs> Tyrone. I will call you number two. Definitely not. So technically photocopy dipper was original the, the second one was called tyrone <laughs> although paper jam dipper always has a special place in my heart <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I've never been. <laughs> Saved it. Mostly it's just a lot of trees. He's since watched all of them. The awkward sibling hug. Well, that was what was so fun about um, the one clip in the old raid video was when James and I did the pat pat. Was That was from, like, both of us just organically did pat pat. And it was just funny to me. 
<clears throat> Currently watching it for the first time and I'm loving it. Yes. Amazing. I thought so, yeah. 17 minutes, not that we're counting. They can all be yours. <laughs> 15 minutes till sale time. If you want to see which friends are in this sale, you can check out my Instagram post that has all of that and maybe give it a like this reel is not doing well and I spent a really long time working on it <laughs> just goes to show you cute cats always win the internet it's the final countdown Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Um, they should be a couple of minutes after the sale goes live, which I'm honestly okay with because if people want to like go and, you know, check out and all of that, that's kind of like perfect. Um, hang on, let me actually get my windows back to where they are, where they need to be. Um, there's the window for the sale and here's the, all right, so in 20 minutes ads will run. So about five minutes after the sale goes live. Don't overspend on Halloween decorations at Target because of the panini. <laughs> well, this isn't Target. <laughs> so. Do what you want. <laughs> No, I, I got this one too strong. Heck. <laughs> Come through. Ugh. Rude. Nailed it. Um, this is a great time to remind everyone that there are a couple of friends um, still from like previous sales. So, you know, if you wanted to add any of them to your cart before the Halloween sale, um, that way when you check out, you know, everything's all ready to go together.
This end is going to be the funny number. That's true too. You can log in. <laughs> nice. Meeting? Oh no. Yuck. Ten minutes till sale time. Okay, I have to know if anyone else ever read or had their parents read to them ten minutes till bedtime, because that's kind of how I'm, like, announcing these. Just FYI, in case you were wondering. I remember reading that to my brother. Sounds familiar? It's a super cute book. I'm proud I've been, like, sitting up straight. But that also means I'm, like, a little bit, like, tight. See, chat's gone quiet, so I picture a lot of you just sitting on the website right now. <laughs> At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> Alas, there's no money there. <laughs> I laugh, but mm, big scene. It's okay. I understand. No. I mean, that's okay, too. But there is eight minutes. Until five o'clock. fell into a craft store earlier. Oh, no. Oh, I hope that you didn't injure yourself too much. Hopefully beautiful, soft, squishy fabrics and yarns or threads cushioned the fall when you fell. I can't buy them, I want them all.
but it was half price. Mm. Which means that you can buy twice as much. Right? That's what it means. Surely that's what it means. Well, share a picture of the squishy goodness that you got today. <clears throat> Do you know what you're making with it yet? Or did you just see it and go, I have to have it? Both are completely, you know, okay answers. Oh, heck yeah. I understand. Five minutes. I would like, I like, part of me wants to ask who y'all are interested in purchasing, but I also feel like maybe you, you don't want to tell. Maybe you want to keep that secret until it's yours. Oh my god, what even is that, Emily? <laughs> It's a rainbow. I want tiny baby ghost. Only a third of the way, oh no. The spider. You have the, the toxic spider, right, Jackie? The green one from the other. Three minutes. For I will jinx it and not get. <laughs> Just um, a friendly reminder that if a friend that you really wanted sells out, I can I can always make one for the same price as a commit. Like as long as you're not adding a bunch of stuff to it, I'll make the same play creation again for the same price um goodness knows that I can like especially if like you're like oh man but I really like how this one looks um I can take a lot of pictures before I mail it because um I kind of did that with Jackie's Franken gnome I ended up like falling in love with him over like the course of time that he was hanging here and so before I sent hers I made one for myself <laughs> And they look, they look like identical next to each other. It was really fun. <laughs> Cause yeah, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even remember how much this one was. I did a lot of, uh, a lot of coupon, like a lot of discount shopping on this. And it was like temperature blankets are also hard because you have to like, you don't necessarily know how much yarn you're going to need in each color. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have a year where it's mostly 70s or if it's like all like really hot in the 80s. So you like buy a skein of it. But the night, the other nice thing too is like this pattern, it wasn't super obvious if I ended up using a different skein. One minute. Okay, let me get over. One minute. If you bring, yeah, 
I'll never get, yeah. Yeah. The one nice thing with like the joining yarn is that it was like, it's like off white. And so it ended up um, like there were no dye lots and it was the Karen one pound yarn. So um, you get like a lot of it. Fingers hovering. Are we ready? Oh my god. <laughs> like even Artemis is excited. She's like, what are we doing? Like it's hard. Yeah. And go. It's live. I'll make an announcement in Discord in like a minute or two. You all get first dibs. You all get to go first. Go, 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 go! <laughs> now I'll just sit here and wait. Thank you all for your interest. I really very genuinely appreciate anyone who looks at, purchases, shares, any of that. Thank you, thank you. At sale alerts. Hi, friends. The spooky sale is live right now. Go check it out. I'll wait to send that for another minute. Oh, see, I hate right now. I just found like a little yarn end poking out and that makes me like stressed because like I don't want ends poking out like ever. I understand that it's probably fine to just trim it, but Oh, also, huh, probably probably be good to do this. Master. Why do you think I always have this glue gun stuck to my arm? Ugh, ugh. Hey, a long time no see, but I love y'all so much heart. Yay! Hi, friend. Thank you so much for that's two years. Jay, that's crazy. Thank you so much for the two year resub. I appreciate that so hacking much. How are you, friend? Oh, and here comes Artemis. Oh, that's a big stretch. Oh, hello. Hi, baby. I just wanted to say hi to chat. It's still using your old address? Oh no. That's really annoying. Um, I wonder if you can change the address. Is it saved on the website? Like, is it saved in your, like your, oh God, I can't think of the word. Your profile? But it's okay. It's okay. I, I have the new address. I'll make sure it goes there. Oh, oh no, Booper. <laughs> Six have sold already? That's crazy. And on PayPal. That's so weird. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, y'all are nuts. Y'all are nuts. I'm just refreshing the website. Holy moly. I've been good, 
Jay. Missed you too. She's just lying here purring. She's just purring. You're just happy girl. Man, I didn't even get... Why does my website never freaking want to, like, copy as a link in my goddamn Discord? Seriously, I don't understand. Because of the HTTP? Don't be stupid. Don't be so dumb. Holy cow. The jack-o'-lantern, guinea pig, poison apple... Larger glowing ghost and candy bee, candy corn bee are all that's left. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Oh my goodness. Pumpkins, what? Yep. Now, everyone who purchased, I figured I would ask before I did it. Are you all okay if I put a spooky spider stamp on your your certificate of adoption because I know some people don't like spiders and I don't want anyone to be like oh my god I hate my little certificate now but if you would like a little spider on your on your certificate let me know and I'll do it Boop. please no 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 rack please you're not being a pain I promise you I pinky promise you it is not a pain at all. It re I, like, I feel bad mostly that you have to like, it's not working right. Cause that's really frustrating. Like I don't, I don't understand. Like you checked the places that I would think it could be getting caught up, but I'm not, I'm fine. It honestly, it doesn't. Cause I don't even, I don't um, buy the postage directly from my website. I buy it through uh, pirate ship. So I don't, I don't necessarily even use, um, like you don't have to worry about that. I, I have to plug the address in anyway. And actually Pirate Ship does a really good job. Oh shoot, ads are rolling. Goddamn. Pirate Ship does a really good job of remembering. So if I type in your name, it'll pull up the address already. So you're fine. It's not even, like you can keep doing it the way you're doing it if you want. It's not a problem at all. Um... Because, like, when I go to type in your name, Pirate Ship will be like, this address? And I'll be like, yep. I love Pirate Ship, too. Not my fault. Better do it now. <laughs> I found my people. Uh, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. You just... That's... Ma'am, you know that this is going to make it hard to continue to weave ends in, right? Do you know that? She's like, I know, and I don't care. All right. Um, I am going to take my stretch break now. We'll play a round of words, and then we'll be back. Um, we'll see if I can actually weave in these ends or not with the cat. Um, but, yes, go ahead. Go check the website if you would like to. Lots of friends, all different prices, too. Um, I wanted to make sure that there was, you know, prices for all budgets. Okay. Um, I will be right back.
I love you, sweet girl. I do. Even if you're in my way. <laughs> but mommy really wants to break a hundred ends woven in today. So do you think you could come? You could, you could sit on the blanket on my lap. How about that? Look, there's blanket here too. Or you can lie down over here. Okay. Tell you what, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this with the camera and we'll weave in these ends over here. <laughs> Although okay, here's my camera. Thank you for the kisses. I love you. This is some kind of trick. Okay, so now you all have to tell me who you bought. I mean, I know that I can just look, but... Okay. Perfect, yeah. Um, I know that I have a couple of commissions from some people. Um, and I was going to kind of see, because I know some people wanted to wait, um, some people needed to wait, and that's fine. Um, so I was actually going to message and see, like, where people were with different commission requests and things like that, so, not a problem. See you later, Connie, have a good weekend. Oh, is your head just blocking all of this? Of course. Thank you all so much for checking out the sale and to everyone who purchased stuff. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Did you see? I, I'm sure you didn't because I'm sure that you were all just clicking like crazy, but um, I I definitely wrote the bat's description with you in mind. <laughs> I know. She, she crossed her little front feet. Look at her front paws. I can't handle that. She fancy. Are you the fanciest, prettiest baby? You big cheeser. Fancy girl. There we go. You making biscuits on my blanket? That's very nice. She makes such little biscuits. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. 
You know what it is? The supervisor just needed to like come and watch for a little while. She said, I haven't supervised this blanket nearly enough. You're blocking everything, Art. Man. Man, please, not like this. You got the guinea pig! Oh, I love that. Shows you the butt, licks said butt, and walks away. Okay. Back over here now. I have not, no. I didn't stream yesterday. I had to get ready for my sale today. And even if I finished writing the pattern, it's going to take me a while to get it ready to for like people to purchase. I like the added challenge now of the tail here. <sighs> this is sharp, ma'am. Hang on, let's take one of these two. Very good. I took a before picture. I'll take an after picture, but I figure a during picture with cat on blanket just, you know, makes sense. Uh, this is number 84. And I would have to add it to the, the total. I don't know. I have my total counter somewhere else. <laughs> She's being really helpful. Can't you tell? That would be cute. I unfortunately only have the spider. I have a spider stamp. I don't have a bat stamp, but I could definitely look for one. Then the sale happened and said project is now forgotten. Oh no. Or like a pumpkin could be cute too. I know, oh my god, the tail. I saw them announce, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I saw that like they had made an announcement on uh, their Facebook page. I'm excited. Yeah, I have a little spider. If anyone doesn't want me to stamp a spider on their their friend, let me know. Or not their friend, on the, the certificate of adoption. No, <laughs> could you imagine like you, you buy like this the guinea pig and there's just a giant spider stamped on its butt? <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am, please, Artemis.
It's a spooky version of My Little Pony. That's it. Everyone's cutie mark is a spider. You can make stamps. Ooh, with uh, your Glowforge. That's cool. Luckily, where she's lying right now is where I was working earlier, so there is actually some, uh, those ends are woven in directly under her, so I'm pretty pleased. Sale day and payday coincided, heck yes. Um, again, and this is always a no-pressure thing for anybody, but if there is a friend that you missed out on and you would like, I always take commissions. Um, and they, I don't charge extra unless you want extra things done. Like if you want the, the snail, right? The same snail, but you also want like, you know, a, a broom, like you want other things added, then the price will change. But if you want the same thing, but maybe different colors, same price, changing the colors won't change the price. Um, unless it's the glow in the dark yard, <laughs> the glow in the dark yarn is going to have to change the price, unfortunately. Um. But just in case you missed out on anyone, unless it glows, yeah. Hmm, I get that, Allison. You'll have to let us know how it goes, Elf. But see, also, if you just wanted, like, the band, like, the little the orange part on the witch to glow, or on the snail, rather, like, the snail's hat has a little orange band. That wouldn't change the price, because it's, like less than 15 stitches. <laughs> it's it's a tricky process, but most things stay the same. Are you going to rest your little head down? You were about to, and then I got the camera out. That face, I know. Blah, 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 blah. KB! How are you, friend? How is your stream? Welcome in. I'll have to wait for her to, to lay down all the way. Hello, KB! Welcome in! What were you working on today? Today is F off Friday here, so we are working on finishing some of the ends on this temperature blanket. I am, this is number 90 that I am weaving in right now. Um, oh my god, there it goes. There she is. Oh, and her head's back up. Um, and, oh god. Oh. <laughs> Artemis just clicked your link, KB. Evidently she's lying on my mouse and your link just showed up under her body. She's like, yes, everyone go and click this. Um, I am working on weaving in ends on this temperature blanket from 2016. Yes. 2016 
We also are having our spooky sale today, the first spooky sale of the season. We will be doing another one mid-October. Um, there, I don't know how many friends are left. I would look, but again, the cat is lying on my mouse right now. Um, I guess I can look on my phone, but there are a number of cute and spooky friends. There you go. Thank you so much, Allison. Um, that were up for sale and some that are still available. Feel free to take a look. Anyone who might be interested, um... My name is Megan. New f if there are any new friends, I can say words, I swear. <laughs> I am a neurodivergent variety streamer. I mostly cross-stitch, crochet, and knit here. We play games. Um, sometimes I do other crafts like miniatures or chainmail, um, diamond painting, all of that. It's just cozy, comfy chaos. Um, so welcome. Raiders, if you are all working on a project, let me know what you're up to. Work on the Perseverance Knit Along, then switch to a crochet blanket. Nice! That's awesome. Only four spooky friends left. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Handle her. She's also, of course, big cheesing because that's just what she does. Good lord, I love her. Um. Just make this little tiny noise. I can't. Whoop, 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 whoop. Did you hear her? Did you all hear her? Hi, Lumi. Welcome. We're all just um exploding at this level of cute and she's currently making tiny little kitten noises and i i can't handle it i can't <laughs> this is artemis my name is megan I have to try and get the sound she's making. Um, I... <laughs> I'm a neurodivergent variety streamer. I mostly cross-stitch, crochet, and knit. This is Artemis. <laughs> she works very hard. And she deserves all the comfy, cozy blankets in the world.
I got I got a really good video. Okay. Right. She was a stray. I don't know how anyone left her outside or was okay with her. This is all she wants is to be close and to be on blankets. And I mean, honestly, how can I say no to that? How can I say no? All right, I'm posting this in the Discord. Turn the volume up. Please post. It's only 15 seconds. Wonderful. Okay. Anyways, hello, Raiders. Welcome. My name is Megan. I am a neurodivergent variety streamer. I mostly cross-stitch, crochet, and knit. I don't remember if I said that. I have ADHD. It's totally fine. Um... Anyway, today, um, the last Friday of every month is F Off Friday. We take these projects that we have been ignoring. They're really big, they're really long, they're really tiring, and we'd hate them. Um, and we work on them, and we kind of commiserate together. Um, so, I am working on weaving an ends for my 2016 temperature blanket. Um, yes, Artemis, Artemis is a really, really great co-streamer, um, but she does distract us quite a bit. Um, Anyway, Lumi, what were you up to today? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hello. I saw Kells come in. I missed who else. I see Jody. Hello. I can't scroll up because the cat is lying on my mouse. But if you came in along with that raid, welcome in. It's wonderful to have you. Let me know how you all are doing on this Friday. That better... I have to see how well the formatting is going to work on TikTok. It might instead go on to her Instagram. Um, just because I took the video sideways instead of, like, long ways. And sometimes when it crops for, like, TikTok, it looks kind of stupid. So, it'll go on to her social page. Probably also on mine, because she's lying on my blanket, so. You know. Ooh! That is awesome. Lumi made this really cool Final Fantasy stitch-along. I don't play Final Fantasy, but I can appreciate really good cross-stitch pattern, um, and it is a beautiful pattern. It's a beautiful design. Um, it's definitely fun for me to see it come together, even though I don't necessarily know much about it. That's fine. Oh, see, I didn't see who the other person was because my chat had already moved and I can't scroll up because of the cat sleeping on my mouse right now. Um, and so I couldn't see who the other purple person was, but I mean, I can just group you both as Kells. That, that works. I mean, <laughs> those little teethies, I know. So she had, she had an injury at some point when she was living outside or maybe when she was, you know, someone took care of her, who knows. Um, but her lower lip hangs open, like the little, I don't know what the heck the thing is called that holds your lip to your, like gums your teeth whatever um hers it that was the biggest sigh in the whole world um hers is like messed up and so her lower lip hangs open which means that we get to see her glorious teeth most of the time and it is truly the greatest thing i have ever seen um because she always looks like she's smiling but her eyes, she has really good resting bitch face. So she always looks like she's smiling, but she also looks like she's disappointed in your life choices. Not upset, not angry, just really disappointed. Um, and honestly, it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe. Myself or Kel are in the same chat room. I usually turn into, Ke <laughs> into Keshi for everyone's sanity. We turned into one chaos. Hmm, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Instead of, you know, individual Kells and Kel, just one chaotic Kels. I'm here for it. <laughs> um, welcome in, everyone. I hope that you are having a fantastic Friday. Um... I actually, oh, I completely forgot to say this because of course I did. Um, I just put my first round of spooky friends up on the website. They are for sale right now. Um, I don't know how many are left. They were going kind of quickly, but there, there is the website. Um, we had 12 spooky friends. I don't know what we're up to now. Again, because cat on mouse equals...
equals me just weaving in ends. It's fine. We're This is number 95 today, which honestly, I'm pretty heckin' impressed because it was a sale day, so that took some attention. Um, it took me like 20 minutes just to wrestle this king-size blanket onto my desk. Um, the story for this blanket, if you have not heard, I did a temperature blanket in 2016. I chose this beautiful African hexagon pattern. I absolutely love how this pattern looks. I think it's gorgeous. Um, the center color represents the weather. So this like kind of creamy color, it's, it's more yellow in person, is sunny. The blue is rainy. The white is for snow and the gray is for cloudy. Um, and then I decided to do the, the flower part of the, the hexagon in the color of like what, what the temperature was that day at like, I want to say two o'clock. Like I took the temperature every day at the same time. That's all I remember. Um, and then I went ahead and I outlined it again in the sky color cause I thought it looked really pretty. And then there's the color to use to join them. What I didn't really think through was the fact that there would be eight ends eight ends to weave in per day plus the pink squares that separate the months so there's 12 of those so I started weaving the ends in as I went like as I was making them and this was you know I, I was <laughs> no <laughs> I know, Lumi. I know. I wish someone would have just said that to me. Um, this was while I was still kind of newer to, to the world of crochet, and I didn't really know what repetitive strain injury was, um, and that I was not actually sore from weaving in ends. I was sore because I was trying to crochet, like, and catch up on things. And so I stopped weaving in ends in an effort to try and keep on top of making squares. Okay, you didn't ban anyone. Very good. I don't know if y'all heard the mouse click, but she clicked the mouse when she just moved. Um, so I did the math and this blanket, there's over 3000 ends. Um, so the last Friday of every month, I pull this blanket out and I weave in the ends for the stream and try and get as many done as possible. <laughs> I would go insane. I am counting them, Jody. I'm keeping track as I weave them in. This is today's count. In in two hours and 35 minutes. No, I haven't done the math and realized that it's going to take me months if I continue doing it this way of just doing it on uh, the last Friday of the month. No, no, I haven't thought about that. It's fine. But you know what? Here's the thing. It's getting done. It's been sitting in my hope chest forever. I guess I was kind of hoping while it was in there that, you know, some little magic fairies would come and weave in the ends for me, but they haven't shown up. It's kind of rude. Now, you might be noticing that there's a couple of, like, strings still here, and you're like, Megan, why, why on earth would you not just weave those in? Well, person who's wondering, um, if you notice, I'm, like, shoving my finger under them, as I'm doing this, because when you join this pattern, the way that it recommends is that you join every three um, stitches, and that's what I did. But I didn't think about the fact that this is a king size blanket. Yes, that is why it took me almost 20 minutes to wrestle it onto my desk in a way that you could all see. Um, so eventually I feel like that's going to just get more and more pronounced. So I'm leaving the ends 
of the the color that joins everything and I'll be seaming so I'm just leaving the ends because then what I'll do is anywhere that didn't have enough for me to seam I'll just you know add some more stitches um, but that way I don't have to you know I'll, I'll use it before I cut it off basically so that's the plan we're crafters we don't think about time yeah no obviously we don't we don't think about being in the year 2022 and weaving in ends from 2016 no 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 we don't think about that yeah we are over 10 percent of the way done um we actually did that last time because before today did i click that oh no Honestly, we might end up with like more than 3,000 ends when the time comes. And that, that would just be because sometimes I don't remember if I click this or not. And so I'll click it again. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm here. Are you in here? No. My red... I have a red stitch counter. And that has the total number on it. I like doing it this way though and then adding to the total number because I get distracted and then I forget how many I did in one day and people are like, well, what did you start with? And I'm like, mm, I don't remember that either. 2020 to 2022 is all fake. That's true. That's, that's fair. Never happened. <laughs> no worries, Crafty Kel. Thanks so much for coming in on the raid. Appreciate it. Um, for anyone who came in on those raids, I normally stream Monday through Friday from 3 until 6 Eastern Standard Time. It is currently 542, just to give you an idea. Um, on Monday, we will be working on some spooky friends. So if you are about the spook, we would love to see you. Um, Ma'am, I have to... The ends I want to weave in are over there now. All right, well, maybe we can just kind of heft this up a little. Mm, I know, maybe, maybe Nightbot's... Nightbot, are you resting? Nightbot might just be taking a nap. It's okay. Oh, there he is. Typical. Typical Nightbot just spacing out. So random. Holy moly. Um, let me know what you all are up to today. What you're working on. Or if you have any plans on working on something. Or if you're playing a game, that's cool too. What are you playing and why is it Disney Dreamlight Valley? It must be your turn to be ignored. I'm really proud that Artemis... Well, technically, the mouse is not over the ban um, icons. It's over where, like, links and stuff are posted, though. I was going to say, I'm really proud that she hasn't banned anyone yet. Oh, my God. You're precious, and I love you so much. This is end 100. Woohoo! Hi. I love you. I love when she does the little paw. One hundred. Switch is too unstable for you to leave open during the... What do you mean? I really need to get new Joy-Cons. My Joy-Cons are like really messed up. I actually, I have to try that Joy-Con cleaning video thing that Emily sent me. I have to do that first. I have to go find that again in the mod chat. That was the biggest stretch. Glad I could help.
she is just watching. Oh, do you have to leave it on? For like the things to grow? I hope so, too. She's currently highlighting sections of chat, so that's fun. <laughs> Just a little bit chaotic. Oh, gotcha. I'm stuck. I mean, me too. <laughs> Same Z's. <clears throat> He's purring. Oh. Sweet baby. She has very tiny little purrs right now. I think that a kitty is keeping her captive. You know how you can't move when sleeping animal is on you. <laughs> Laying on me time is now. Nah, you're all right, Allison. You are welcome here anytime to cuddle the babies. I cannot handle her. She's too much. I like how she keeps basically like trying to fold herself like more and more tightly. I understand that. Wanting to just curl up. I'm sorry, am I not allowed to smooch you, precious beautiful bean? Rude. The way that she was like, ew. Washing dishes? No worries. No worries. I do that a lot, actually, where I will hop into a stream and then I I will wash dishes or clean or fold laundry. That's another one I do a lot. So no no need to apologize. I appreciate you all lurking here. In fact, I think that there's a lot more people who are lurking than talking and that is totally a-okay. Lurkers honestly make the Twitch world go round and I appreciate you all choosing me and my community to lurk in. That honestly means a lot because you're basically saying that this is a comfortable space to just hang out. Like, it's it's one of those, like, it's comfortable and I don't feel like I have to talk, but I can talk if I want to. Like, that that's a big, that's a big compliment, you know? Like, how many friends do we feel, you know, comfortable just hanging out and not feeling like, oh god, I have to fill the silence? Guilty lurker for Disney? No worries, Jody. <laughs> I myself have been a guilty lurker for Disney too. <laughs> um, Patreon friends, you will be getting a new post um, either tonight or tomorrow. 
I was hoping to have it up for this month, but then of course, you know, that sale really kicked my butt getting everything ready. Um, but there will be a question. There will be some ideas um, with the Patreon for some possible different tier levels. And I would love to know your thoughts. Um, oh no, which, which, um, which quest did it glitch? Also, hi Stormy, welcome in. Seriously, I appreciate my, all every single lurker because like that that is so huge and so helpful. I know that that might sound really silly, but like if you just leave my stream up like on your computer and you just like say hi, it it helps so much cuz Twitch is silly like that and it shows the people with like more viewers and chatters and stuff up higher than others. And so it's just it's helpful because that's how we make new friends and meet new people because people like when you can see someone you know you're more likely to go check it out so thank you never apologize for lurking here and anyone who makes you feel guilty for lurking ew don't do that mm -mm. i've been in chats like that and that is like the quickest way for me to just nope on out <laughs> You know, okay. Elf, I have not ever seen the original. Um, my husband hates the original. I need to watch it, I feel like. I, there's a lot of Halloween that I've never really, like, watched movie-wise. Coraline, Corpse Bride. Um, I, like, I've seen a lot of advertising for those lately. Haven't seen either of them as well. Um... I just haven't, I, there's a lot of Halloween stuff I need to watch because I don't like scary. And so as a kid, even if it wasn't necessarily like a scary movie, like I know that those are not necessarily true horror things like, oh my God, but like certain things still scared me too much. Um, so I just, I wouldn't watch it just because it was marketed as a Halloween movie and I would be like, mm, nah. Um, now, as I'm older, that's, like, something I have no problem with, obviously. Um, too many chores. Aw. Oh. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I, I'm upsetting. No, I've never seen the... I've never seen Ghostbusters. Okay? Like, please don't unfollow me. <laughs> Like, when it comes to the amount of things that I've never seen, it's, it's, there's a lot. Just exit the game and it went back on. Oh, interesting. Watch the original. I plan on it, yeah. That's my foot, honey. It's okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any of those names, Rain. I feel like you'd love it. I'd be so down to watch it with you. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was a kid who used to get nightmares from Scooby-Doo, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. I had enough troubles going to sleep as a kid. I did not need, like, any kind of scary anything. Scooby-Doo was scary. I'm sorry, I scared. I feel you, but now, yes, I agree. That part of the blanket needs a little kitty. Oh, she, you know what? She heard my foot, my foot brushed against my cabinet. My monitors are on bookshelves that are like on the other side of my desk and my foot brushed the back of it. And so it made noise. And now she's like standing down the It's just my foot down there, honey. <laughs> the way that she's like squeezing her little face in like the crack there. Um. <laughs> I look bad so bad. 
Artemis is helping. Yeah. Oh, that's true, Shay. If I can't see the ends, then do they need to be woven in? I protect you, Mama. It was just me. I don't know if it will make it better or worse for me to do the same sound again. Like, should I should I make that same noise? Do it again. I wish. Thanks for the alert. I want, I've seen Nightmare Before Christmas. And I know, I know that it's like blasphemous. I can appreciate it. I think that it's amazing, like, you know, stop motion, all of that. Very cool. Not my favorite movie. It's, it's not. It feels like it's very much just everyone is like, oh yeah, you have to watch it. But like, I don't know. What was that? It's a great film, just hate the guy, yeah. Nope. Never seen that either. I think James and the Giant Peach. Not a fan of Nightmare Before Christmas or Coraline for Corpse Bride. I, I've not seen Coraline or Corpse Bride. I heard that Coraline, though, was pretty creepy. Like, uh, again, not scary or, like, gory, but just, like, creep factor is, is very high on Coraline. <laughs> no, Allison. I didn't watch scary movies as a kid. Love Coraline, but yes, creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I would get nightmares, so my parents just never really, you know, encouraged me to watch scary or anything that even... Even if it's not, like, true scary, again, I, I would still... I had such a hard time sleeping as a kid. Nope, never seen Edward Scissorhands. I watched movies that were scary as a kid, but didn't realize they were supposed to be creepy. I definitely, like, when I honestly like high school or so I started to really enjoy like Mary Higgins Clark books I enjoyed suspense books and things like that because it's one of those things that like I don't know like yeah sure you're reading it and you like imagine stuff but like you're not seeing it and so it doesn't really like affect you the same way if that makes sense I don't know I I could read suspense and like scary things, but I couldn't watch them. I don't know if I just click that button or not. Does anyone remember? Whatever, I'm clicking it. I've earned extra clicks. You're just gonna sit there? Okay. Are you just trying to find the coziest spot on the blanket? Now, I did love seeing, like, Star Wars and Star Trek as a kid. Watched a lot of that stuff. Ad soon. I'll trust you on that. I can't, I can't. I should have, I should have reclaimed my mouse the last time she stood up. Also, Wish, thank you for the host. I'm sorry, I saw that, like, pop in and I got, I was distracted. I've not seen Gremlins. 
The sequels get worse as they go on. A lot of times that happens, honestly. Less creepy and more sad for Edward Scissorhands. I have not seen Sleepy Hollow. You only just watch Stranger Things. Try the first episode mid-August because everyone kept insisting and then binge the whole series. <laughs> no, I've seen I've seen Star Wars, Star Trek. Um I've done Indiana Jones. I didn't see Back to the Future until I was older. I watched those with James because they're like his favorite movies. And so but I've seen those. Gremlins is why I would never trust a Furby. <laughs> so I feel that Andor's, I feel the first episode, it ended and I looked at James and I went, that was awful. Now, things to keep in mind. I think that the, the cinematography was gorgeous. The music and acting, phenomenal, but I felt like it was so slow. Now, immediately I looked at him and I said, well, I guess we have to watch the next one to see if it gets better. Watch the next one. It did. It just, I don't know why, like, I guess, like, Mandalorian and, like, Kenobi, both of those were just, I don't know, they, they were more... There was more than just, like, it felt very drawn out, the first episode of Andor. However, I'm really enjoying the series. I'm liking it a lot. I'm excited we're going to watch that tonight. Um, so I'm enjoying it now. It just, at first, I was like, it just, I don't know what it was. It felt like a lot of, a lot of story. But it, it wasn't really, like, moving. It felt like the whole episode was just, like, him on this planet like you know in the and it just was like okay i get it like we're, we're looking for someone move on <laughs> like um but uh, you know all of the it was, it was a long setup it was so long um but i think again gosh making these these shows on disney plus has saved star wars flat out like I don't think that a Star Wars movie would do as well now like I really I don't know that it would okay hold on wait, let me catch up here a lot of backstory building yeah first two episodes were almost can yeah a really weird slow show it has the same story background as Rogue One did to me mm -hmm. but I do love it yeah I agree I honestly I mean Casting is great. The music is great. The scenery is great and beautiful. I love the droid, of course. Oh, they make the droid so freaking cute and so lovable. Like, goodness gracious. All the droids in all of these shows. You're just like, I want... I just want to squish your little droid face. Episode three was way better. <laughs> was this person to him? This per yeah. <laughs> I get that. And obviously, you know, we're not doing spoilers since it's a relatively new show, but there were certain like scenes where like normally you would feel bad and I just didn't. But if you've seen the episodes, you might know what I'm talking about. But again, don't spoiler it because I'll have a mod delete it. Um. Also, I, I think ads might be starting. Um. We're at 116 ends, which honestly. Oh, I, I did see all the Lord of the Rings growing up, too. Talking about things I saw and didn't see, like. Trying to make drama with this urgency. It wasn't even urgent though. It was, it was long. It was a long, it was a very long urgent scene. And you're like, ends. Thank you for the 160 bits. That, that was random. <laughs> I 
It is a lot of ends to weave in. So many ends. So many. <sighs> Analyze all the story and timeline with Andor. The first few episodes are the ones where after understanding what's going on later in the series, you go back and watch. Yes. Mm hmm. I can see that happening for sure, Rack. Absolutely. I think it needs more glitter. No, see, we're no, 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 no. We're are, if we're hyping now, then that means I have to stay and keep weaving it ends. No, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, Kat, thank you for the two hundred bits. Jackie, thank you for the hundred bits. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all are too much. Oh no, ads. Heck, okay. Can we get an ad command? I can't get anything. Sorry, Jody. I feel bad. I hate ads. Um, Star Wars is my thing. My wedding was... No, really? It was very confusing. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't bad. It was just confusing. Andor is five years before Yavin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watch Rogue One first. Oh, or again. Yeah, I mean, you could watch it again if you want. If you haven't seen it, though, I would definitely recommend watching. All right, well, we are in a hype train. Um, this is the last one for the stream. This is the last one for this month. Um, the last September sub perks, because we'll, you know, just mention that now. Um, we will do a sticker giveaway if we close up any of the circles up there. You do get older soon. <laughs> 14 days as of right now. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the five Sounds gifted like subs. People. What the heck? Thank you for that follow, by the way. Welcome in. Is it Aya? Let me know if I'm saying your name wrong, but holy cow, what are you doing? Welcome back. I'm so sorry about that, Jody. I couldn't see, because uh, Artemis opened another window on my computer, so I couldn't see um, when ads were. I apologize for that. Um, Holy cow, all right. Well, I guess we're going to do one sticker giveaway. Oh, time to spill the beans. Rope. Beans. Holy cow! Jackie, thank you for the 500 bits! And Calliope, thank you for the 100! Oh my god, what are you all doing? Call you ours? Ooh. Got it. Lurkawoo. <laughs> Lurkawoo! Um. Gnome hat. Gnome hat is where? Here. <laughs> Stickers! Yes! Okay. Here we go. See, now I hate that. About to beat your last record. Keep up the support. Bestie, we once had a level 5 hype train that went to, like, over a thousand percent. So, like, I hate that they added this new, like, it can go past level 5 now, but, like, they didn't keep track of everything before. <sighs> Yes. Oh, we're going to be doing two stickers because bit goal is also met. If we met, if we meet tip goal or have a level five hype train, then that's extra stickers on top of it all. Thank you all so much. Yeah. Well, that's no, the, the cues that they're rolling out, I guess, is they're going to be like making like a thing for streamers to see when it's a good idea to say like, Hey, if you haven't followed already, make sure you hit that follow button kind of thing. Like, probably have a lot of new viewers in your chat um but i guess that this is because they're now like oh yeah hype trains hype trains can now go past level five and you can set records and stuff i guess this is their way of trying to make people want to hype more i don't i wish you could turn that off i'm but. an arts and crafts master why do you think i always have this glue oh, gun stuck to my arm ugh, ugh. who did that who did that 
I don't know. Thank you so much for the six month resub, half a year. Holy cow, Jody, thank you. Hi, Dan, welcome in. We did a level five hard train once too. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, Twitch uncapped hype trains to try and, I guess, generate more money for themselves. You know, because, like, you can you can just... If you have unlimited, people are going to want to see how high they can get. It seems pushy. I get that. I get that. I understand. That's why I, that's why I said I wish I could turn it off, because I don't want people to feel pressured into hyping or into completing trains or things like that. Um, Jackie, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Elf. Elf, enjoy your emotes, your ad-free viewing. Um... Have level on the about to be oh it's back now it shows level three I guess we beat the our previous high score um about a minute and a half left on this train thank you all so much we will do two stickers oh man we're up to 122 ends Heck yeah. Oh no, they, they haven't made any kind of new emotes. <laughs> you wait, you they you think that they're going to put in extra work for asking for extra things? That's cute. No. There's there's no there's no new um emotes or anything. Yes, level five, the beard does come out. There's no emotes or anything. Yep. Mm -hmm, I know. Very weird. Um, see, like, I it, it keeps on like bubbling up there. Like, yay, you! I don't. It's not a game, Twitch. It's money. Like, stop. It makes me. It makes me uncomfortable. Cause like, I don't want people to feel like they need to. You know beat the last high score or whatever whatever no it's it's excited because we've we beat our previous um record that's why it's like jumping around like that so it's trying to make you want to like keep it going At least a year since the last emotes came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for the hype train. I do appreciate it, even if it's weird. Um, okay, we're going to do one more end here. Because I, I can't end on an odd number. That would make me unhappy. And then we'll open up sticker giveaways. Thank you all so much. Finally got the other one. Yes. That's utterly adorable. I'm sorry, I'll leave now. <laughs> That's my favorite. Shoot, I don't remember what Luna named the pug. Does anyone remember? It was something silly and I loved it. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, I finally got my mouse back. <laughs> I love you. Okay, um, let me get Nightbot up since we're doing more than one sticker giveaway. By the way, if you are just popping in, um, I am currently, we just did a, um, a spooky friends launch on my website, so feel free to go check that out. 
Um, there's a couple of friends left. Hi. Um, let's do... What should our key... Our keyword will still be sticker. Okay, go ahead and type that in if you would like to enter to win. We're going to be doing two stickers. Um, you just have to be a follower to enter. That's it. You don't have to be a sub. Uh, just a follower and you must be present when I call your name and you must be able to send me your address in a private message So I know where to mail your sticker If you can do those things, please feel free to enter She's like this isn't cold like my other cans It is open internationally as well You're silly, man. We did 124 ends today. Got one of those universal can cooler things. Mm hmm. Pretty impressed. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm quite pleased with that. I agree. I agree. We uh, we made very good progress. It took me like 20 minutes just to get started on it, and then I had to stop for the sale, and then we had cats and. <laughs> just been a bunch of things how are we doing i haven't checked the website let me go look let's go take a peek shall we at what's left four friends are left the jack-o-lantern the poison apple the glowing ghost and the candy corn bee so we have eight total friends in the website right now very cool <laughs> right they're like pokemon gotta have them all i love that <laughs> all right let me take a picture of where we ended with the blanket and oh i found i found my red clicker so far all right what is 378 plus 124 that's how many we've done Five hundred and two. My brain's too tired for math. Okay. Candy corn is gross. Candy corn is. Don't worry. All right. So we'll we'll bring this up to five hundred two. This is our total counter. Yeah, 502. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Progress. We love to see it. Hang on. Take our after picture. Love it. Now, I I am a little tempted. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hexagons right here and that would finish these three rows like uh, about halfway so I am kind of tempted to maybe off stream weave in those ends but we'll see we'll figure that out actually I could do these ones too that would be four more rows complete or halfway complete and then we could flip it over for the next one and do the other half maybe we'll see I don't know I'm not going to like you know hold on wait 
That doesn't feel like all the ends. That that feels like it's too small of a pile. <laughs> Hold on, there's some that are stuck to other things. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> All right. Um, last call to enter sticker giveaway. Just type in, just type in the word sticker. No exclamation point necessary. And I'm going to pull two winners. Is that that is today's? Yes. That's how many. That's what I got done today. Every step is progress. No, you're right. You're right. But like when you you hear 124, you think, man, that's so much, and then you're like, oh. Yeah, that's true. There's some that had shorter strings. That's probably why. Yeah, two, because subs and bits. Subs and bits. Patch is doing in a woo. That was closed. <laughs> I tried I tried to take a drink and it was closed. <laughs> Two songs in one day, I know. Aren't y'all lucky? Okay, our first sticker winner. Let's get over here to the right window. I can move this blanket now. Our first sticker winner we have 14 people entered is going to be, I can't spill it that way. <laughs> it's a newer one, yes. I really like these, not sponsored by the way, it, it's tall, T-A-L, and they keep everything cold. It's the same manufacturer as the water bottle that I have with the straw. Um, it keeps things cold for, like, ever. It's really nice. Um, and I like that this one is, like, a, like, a can. Okay. Um, ADHD moment over. Okay, our first winner is going to be Rack. Rack, it's you. Do you... Dear Diary, today I got to sleep on a blanket mom's working on. She has all these things she's weaving in, and she thinks it's a lot, but I think it's very cozy. I don't mind all the ends. Sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, no, no, you have to look up now. Anyway, I like all the things mom makes. I think they're very cozy, and I hope she makes more things for me. Love, Artemis. P.S. I hope she doesn't make me any more hats. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous. Hooray, Rack! Someone clipped that for the, the Dear Diary channel. Uh, thank you. No, that was perfect. Like, she, I didn't even realize. Like, I saw her, but I didn't even, like, put it together. PPS, oh look, a bird went by. You know what? We haven't... You know what we haven't done today? That I said we were going to? Do you all want to watch the new raid video before we go on a raid? Stuck between finger guns and arty gnome. Those are both solid choices. Yes. What about, we will do the second sticker. Yes, don't worry. I was just waiting for Rack to pick. Silly question. That's fair, that's fair. Why? There it is, I had to find it. No, don't, no sound just yet. Okay, very good. Yay! Thank you for clipping that cat. 
I appreciate it. Okay. The video is up. Um, Rack, let me know either way. And we'll go ahead and pull. The, already know. You got it. I was say, no pressure. Oh, God, I gotta... Can I, can I get some more stickers? Failed it! Already know. Beautiful. I mean, that makes sense, because she just did a Dear Diary, so... About wearing her hat. Okay. Hmm. See, it was good that you all stuck around till the end. You get to see the new video. Ow. Put my hair in the box. Okay. The second sticker winner is going to be... Hold on. I got... Oh, God. Too many windows open. Okay. I swear to God. Hang on, I have to screenshot it. Hang on. Congratulations, I no, but see, Nightbot hasn't followed the rules. Okay, Nightbot has not followed. There we go. It actually no longer says not following, it actually says unknown. I posted it in the Discord. So, um,. but you can't win. You won't give Megan an address. It's true. I can't mail it to you if I don't know where you live. All right. The real winner. That was, that was just a test. I wanted to make sure you were all paying attention. The real winner is Jody. <laughs> Jody is crafting is our second sticker winner. Holy moly. Congratulations. Go ahead and take a look at the sticker options. Let me know what you would like. And I don't remember if I have your address, so if I don't, if you could please send it to me in a DM, that would be fabulous. Hooray! What a lovely stream. Y'all are too much. Look at her, just, she loves outside. She loves watching. Oh, bath time. I have to get a, a post for uh, the bird feeder we have. That way she can actually, like, see things closer. I think she would enjoy that. Alrighty then. Are you all ready? Are you all ready to see the new raid video? Already cozy. You got it. Under jo Okay. Let me... I think we were talking about that the other day. Hold on. Yeah. Let me... I'll take a screenshot of that so I can update the uh the sticker spreadsheet oh well i hope that you'll come back i hope that you enjoy the community it's a very nice one it's a lot of fun it's silly we have shenanigans and we make art so you know it's all good all right let me already cozy and that is jody he is crafting okay I know she. <laughs> She's like, I'm ready. I'm. Re I am ready to make my raid video debut, Mama. I'm ready for it. Um. So if you are newer here, one of the things that we have is um we have a raid video, and I've had the same raid video for like ever. Um, and so I finally went ahead and I made a new one because it was, it was overdue. Let me quickly just pause our music. That way you can hear, um, the raid video instead. Make sure that volume is up. Very good. I'm going to turn my desktop audio up a little bit. It's at 12.7 decibels now. 12.7. 12. Point seven. Don't forget that. Okay, perfect. All right. So I hope, I hope that you all enjoy this raid video. 
Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's a new one. It's got up-to-date clips. They're all within the last year. Um, if you do and you have not followed already, consider following. We would love to get to know you. All right. Hang on. Let me adjust the screen size. It's going to be a bit of a, a, a inception here because I haven't set it up in my uh, OBS yet. I apologize. I completely spaced on that, but okay, here we go. I'll mute. Enjoy. Say hi. Hi, I'm Megan, and welcome to my stream. <laughs> we have cats and hats. Dear diary, dear diary, I dressed as an orange for you. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it's so cute. I can't. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Nailed it at first try. And welcome to my birthday stream. Less than three trillion three hundred thirty-three billion three hundred thirty-three million three hundred thirty-three thousand three hundred thirty-three. Love my family at the moat. Artemis is staring into your soul right now. Y'all look at it. You're getting so much maple silly now. You like the lesbian? Enjoy this video if you, you do. Make, make sure you hit that follow button. <laughs> so raiders and friends of the moat, I have a question and that is, are you ready for some shenanigans? Oh slash in chat if you are. I'm so sparkly. So sparkly. Come say hello to everyone. Say hi. Well, what do we think? <laughs> what do we think? Do we like it? I love it. Beautiful. It's great. Hooray! I literally, I cracked up so much at the, uh, that last clip because I, I literally, I, that wasn't edited at all. That was not edited. I was like, I literally just had this ADHD moment where I'm like, I'm so sparkly! Yes, um, Jody, I still have the Skittle chair. <laughs> oh, no worries, Susan, you can go back and watch it. You can watch it in the VOD. Um, and it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. So I'm going to be starting to upload all my, all my VODs to YouTube unedited, so you guys can watch them at any point in time. Gosh, that was so long ago. Yep, and it's still falling apart. So sparkly. Um, I love the Artie Meowing when you pick her up. That one, it was perfect. It was so great for like the opening where I was like, come say hi. And she's like, patching that chair though. I love it because he like his little like thing that he does, like the harumph noise. And I'm like, what? what are you doing that's like... Plus, it's a new Ray video. Yeah, we will see it. Yes. That's true. It's just the first time that it's been played. It's not the last. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I wanted to make sure I got all the animals and James. And I know, I miss having him in here, too. I really do. Um, maybe we can put uh, Artemis in James's office one day for stream and let Patch come in here and hang out. Because I miss having him in here for stream too. 
my little chaos boy. He would just come over and like climb on me and be like, hi, I'm here now. Hope, hope you don't mind. Don't do anything else exciting because it's 1135 and you need to go to bed. No worries. Yes. Please feel free. I'm currently looking over at who is live and who we can read. Oh, there were two. There were two awoos today. Um. Yep. What do we think? Um, I have... I don't really have a lot of people crafting. I have a couple. Do we want to go see a crafter or do we want to go and see um, some critters today? I know. Because one crafter we just raided and the other one we raided earlier this week. So that's why I'm like, do we want to go see animals today? That's always tricky. No worries. No worries, Wish. He does have very lovely awoos. And I'll have to play, like, a video um, of what he looks like when he awoos. Because, um, like, obviously the old raid video had, like, a little clip of it. But he feels it in his soul. From the depths. The depths of his soul. Have we seen Caitlyn lately? I thought we did, but maybe not. We can always go over there. Even if we were there recently, that's fine. If I can find my... <laughs> I have too many things open. Shocking anyone that I have things open? No. Absolutely not. There it is! Okay, I found it. Okay. I hope that you all have an absolutely lovely weekend. Why can I not? There it is. Um, I hope that you have some tasty foods and drink some water. Um, remember, friends, to be kind to yourself and others. Take any meds you have to take. Don't forget your laundry. Did you forget your laundry? I have so much laundry to do. Okay. <laughs> Let's roll some credits. Thank you all so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And if you would like to join us on the Discord, please be sure to do so here. Remember, remember the, the spooky friends are live right now on the website. There's four left. You don't want to miss them. Um, so go, go scoop up those friends, okay? I love you all. I'll see you on Monday. Bye!